Hello, everyone, and welcome to another um, company overview. This is Steve Spector, your cloud evangelist at Dell. And with me today is um, John Matthew Holt from the company Weratech. Uh, John, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell, a little, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi there. So uh, I'm John Holt, uh, John Matthew Holt, one of the founders and the chief technology officer of Waratech. Uh And I've uh, been interested for some time now, some number of years in uh, virtualization and metacircular programming, and particularly uh, where they might cross-cut and intersect with Java virtual machines and how uh, kind of Java can be innovated in and improved in, because I think there's a lot of challenges uh, for Java in the industry and for the adoption of Java in cloud environments. And there's a lot of uh, interesting areas in there uh, to explore how Java can be improved. So, so I'm going to guess that Waratech is related to Java based on that. Can you, can you give us a little history of your company and um, some of the uh, solutions you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Waratech is a, is a team here headquartered in, in Dublin. Uh, we're a company headquartered in Dublin, Ireland, and we've brought together uh, a team of uh, JVM experts and engineers from kind of commercial backgrounds or academic backgrounds to build a very unique kind of JVM uh, and build the team around that. Uh, where we're, what we've looked to do is to innovate within the core of a JVM and bring virtualization, the same kind of hardcore virtualization that we uh, take for granted and that we know and we love from hypervisors like VMware or Zen, and bring that into the Java world by embedding it inside a Java virtual machine. So really doing uh, Java virtualization and the Java hypervisor within a JVM. And, and how long is the company? Is it a couple years old? Is it even younger than that? Yeah, so we set up in Dublin in uh, mid to late 2009, uh, and there was uh, some research that went on before that, but we set up commercially as a company in mid to late 2009, uh, and then we took uh, SMG two years, a year and a half to two years to get together the team, get together the code base, build the JVM, uh, make the JVM pass the TCK standards from Oracle, uh, validate its conformance and its compliance, build the virtualization for the JVM. Uh, and it's, it's in 2012 that we got to the point that we launched the first public beta of the JVM uh, at the Red Hat Summit World uh, in Boston in June of this year. And, uh, and then we previewed it again at, at other conferences, VM World in San Francisco. Uh, and then we're releasing the GA Java one. Great. So, so you know, let's let's start with, I guess, the basics. You know, I'm familiar with the cloud. I'm not a huge um, Java uh, developer. So, you know, what are, what are some of the problems that um, Wartex looked at and said, ah, we have the solution for when it comes to, um, you know, using Java in a cloud? Yeah, really interesting question. When we looked at Java some number of years ago, we really took the opinion that Java was coming to a critical crossroads in its development. Uh, Java hadn't materially changed since its inception in the mid to late 1990s. JVMs hadn't changed, the Java platform hadn't changed. And that was all very fine and well, but as we look forward to today and going going, going to the future, we are moving to a, a computing model that's based on virtualization. Uh, we are moving to a computing model that's based on this idea of cloud computing, where computing capacity and computing resources can be accessed and attached on demand and then returned to the system and infrastructure on demand in real time. And when we look at the way Java plays nicely or does not play nicely with this, we saw some really big issues coming up. And really, in simple terms, we saw issues like multi-tenancy and the absolute absence of proper comprehensive multi-tenancy in the JVM and the Java platform. The absence of elasticity, where you can grow and shrink the resources allocated to a JVM to a Java application. For example, start a Java application, give it a one gig peak, shrink that one gig down to 10 megabytes again, grow it back out to one gigabyte again, uh, have elastic memory allowances, elastic memory allowances. And Java and the Java platform and JVMs today don't have this kind of capability. And so when we started work on this um, in 2009, 2010, we started to see that these were going to be some of the issues that Java was going to face and confront in the years ahead. And we're now seeing the evidence of that. So customers today are starting to complain and they're starting to recognize, you know what, I have a problem running Java well. Uh, I have a problem consolidating Java. Uh, the model towards cloud computing where I try and get very high density for my application hosting models uh, is very difficult to achieve because every time I deploy a Java application, I give it a new JVM. Every time I start a new JVM, that JVM is going to go ahead and allocate a great big heap of memory. But then the Java application that's hiding inside that JVM doesn't use all of that heap. So when I have 10 or 20 or 30 JVMs running on a single physical server, I have a lot of committed but unused memory. Uh, I then have a lot of things like concurrent garbage collectors running in the background. I have 20 JVMs, I have 20 concurrent garbage collectors running in the background. I have JIT compiles and so forth. 
And what people are recognizing is that they can't consolidate many Java apps onto a, onto a given server footprint, not as many as they would like. Uh, so when we set out to to build the JVM product that we did, the problems that we saw was how do we bring multi-tenancy to Java, how do we bring elasticity? Um, we concluded the way to do that was to bring virtualization into Java, same kind of virtualization we, we take granted hypervisors, and that this would be the enabling technology for solving these kind of problems. So, so the Wartech solution that you have now, is is, um, is there a name for it? I mean, it's got to be a cool name if it's related to Java, right? <laughs> so the JVM is called Wartech Cloud VM for Java. Okay. And, and there we're referencing the fact that it's designed for very high-density hosting environments, hosting solutions in cloud environments. It can be thought of as a Java virtual machine designed for PaaS, designed for platform as a service. Uh, with virtualization built in, multi-tenancy built in, where you can bring and consolidate and compress a lot of Java applications into elastic allowances and high-density allowances inside a single consolidated virtual machine footprint. So now, if I'm, you know, if I if I'm a customer or I'm an, uh, an enterprise looking to develop Java apps, are, are both these sites going to see benefits from a solution such as yours? Um, if I'm seeing this, if I'm understanding this correctly? Yeah. So the the kind of first and foremost, the user category who tends to get the first benefits from Cloud VM for Java uh, tend to be the systems administrators and the hosting operators. So these are the folks who either in Internal data center hosting like today and last year and the year before where they have I run a private data center and I run Java applications on mass. These folks have a problem consolidating and, bringing, and running high density Java. The other community of users that are related to them are then the, the, kind of the private cloud and the public cloud providers. These are the guys who want to build and provide a cloud service. It might be a platform as a service. It might be a proprietary private cloud for an organization. But they all, these two user groups have exactly the same pain point, and that is that Java doesn't consolidate well. Java isn't multi-tenant. As a result, I'm firing up all these JVMs. I've got a lot of waste in memory. I've got a lot of waste in CPU. Uh, so this, these kind of user, user folks are really the, the first um, people to recognize and appreciate value from the JVM. Strangely enough, not developers. These are the systems admin guys. These are the sysops guys. These are the infrastructure guys who have a problem running to Java, Java today or want to run it better than they are. And Cloud VM for Java with its virtualization and multi-tenancy and elasticity allows them to get far higher hosting density than they can with conventional JVMs and conventional approaches. And so to them, it makes a real difference to how effectively they can run Java applications. And secondarily then, uh, some minor benefits for Java programs, which are more to the side. So that's really good. So I'm rather than continuing on deep diving into Java, which I think I'll get lost if I go much further than this, um, you know, if, if, if someone's listening to this and goes, well, I need to know more, I need the details, um, you know, where should they go? Um, your website, do you have webinars? Any 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 places you would recommend that um, we send to uh, listeners? Absolutely. So uh, our website is www.waratech.com. Uh, and on the website, you can download uh, an evaluation copy of this uh, Waratech Cloud VM for Java. Uh, and you can power up the Cloud VM download onto your Red Hat 6 box or your CentOS box, power it up, and straight, straight from the prompt, you're able to start these things called Java virtual containers, which are like Linux containers in the JVM. You can run four Tomcats inside a single JVM. You can run four JBosses. So the place to go there is www.waratech.com. And there's other information. There is some white papers online. There's uh, user guides. Uh, there are some webinars that are coming in the weeks ahead as we uh, ramp up for the Java 1 uh, launch and releases. Well, that's good. So, um, you know, you, you just mentioned Java 1. I assume you'll be there. Are there any other conferences coming up? I know some people will listen to this. It'll be a year from now. But if you're listening to this when we actually are just pushing it out sometime this week, um, what conferences are you going to be at soon that people can go look for you? Yeah, absolutely. So we will be in both Java 1 and Oracle World. We have a booth in both. And to invite people to come along, come along and say hi, and we'll have a systems there with demonstrations running. We'll be able to show uh, Cloud VM running, show the interactive prompt, and how you can start stop virtual containers and all the cool things it can do. Um, and those are the immediate conferences we're, we're committed to. There are some other conferences in the months ahead. I'm not the folk to talk to about that, but uh, we have a kind of aggressive roadmap of getting out there and showing people, letting them play uh, with Cloud VM at uh, different forums and opportunities. So, so one last question. So, if I was a, uh, if I'm a Java person and I'm real into Java, and I happen to be in Dublin, um, is if I go to the um, Guinness factory, um, is there a speed dial, maybe a Wartech booth or section at the Guinness factory? I can go, and you guys instantly appear, and and I can have a Guinness and chat with you about this. Is, is that part of the company profile, or is that just that's just um, a little extreme marketing, maybe? <laughs> 
you know, it is a good idea. I'll call my mates down to the Guinness factory and I'll get them to set up a hotline, a red line from, from, from their Guinness brew house back to our office here. Yeah, no, so if people come to Dublin, listen, give us a call, drop us an email, come and visit the office. We'll show you the stuff, uh, walk you through. It's great. Great. Well, John, I appreciate you uh, taking the time today. And uh, thanks again for uh, talking with us. That's great. Thanks a lot.